Hello, and welcome to the International Quilt Museum's Virtual First Friday Fun. I'm Lauren Holt, Education Coordinator at the museum, and today we're going to be exploring quilts about stories and stories about quilts. Mother Goose's nursery rhymes and fairy tales first became popular in the 1600s. Though there have been many versions over the past 400 years, the stories remain popular, and the International Quilt Museum is home to a few quilts that celebrate them. In this quilt by Judith Ann Johnson Zerbe Campman, you can see images of Jack and Jill, Humpty Dumpty, Mistress Mary, quite contrary, and the old woman who lived in a shoe. Puss in Boots, or The Master Cat, is a tale retold in many cultures. The earliest recorded version comes from Italy in the 1500s. In the Russian version, a clever cat helps his owner, a poor man, gain riches and influence. In this quilt by Marian Zoltova from Suzdal, Russia, you can see him carrying the sack he uses to catch rabbits, pheasants, and other game, which he then presents to the king to gain favor for his owner. Another Russian fairy tale that shows up in our collection is the story of Emelia and the Magic Pike. In this story, a man named Emelia catches a fish that can do magic and releases it in exchange for future help. The quilt shows Emelia in his red clothes, having his first conversation with the pike. The story then follows his adventures as he calls on the pike for favors, with wishes that are often designed to rhyme. The Firebird is one of the most famous Russian fairy tales and has inspired a ballet as well as books and quilts. In one of the most famous versions of the story, Ivan Tsarevich, son of the Tsar, sets out on a quest to capture the Firebird for his father. He encounters many dangers and puzzles along the way, and often ends up completing several other quests in order to reach the Firebird. Here you can see three different quilts inspired by this story. Little Women was originally written by Louisa May Alcott in the late 1860s and follows the story of sisters Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy as they grow up in America during the Civil War period. The story is based on Alcott and her sisters' lives and explores ideas of family, personal identity, and transitioning from childhood to adulthood. This quilt, likely made in the 1950s, shows scenes from the book, progressing from the sisters as teenagers together in the top left corner block through to, into their marriages and family life in adulthood. Jean Ray Laurie is best known as an artist, quilter, and speaker on women's issues, and she was also an author of both quilting techniques and children's books. She made many quilts for children, and No Dragons on My Quilt is one for which she also wrote a book. In this story, a boy has trouble getting to sleep, and his grandmother helps him partially by making a quilt he feels safe sleeping under. There are also many storybooks about quilts. From stories based on real history, like Martha Ann's quilt for Queen Victoria and the handkerchief quilt, to family stories around the world, to books by quilters such as Tar Beach, and short poems, there's something for everyone to enjoy. Here you can see just a few of the books that are part of the International Quilt Museum's library, anytime you want to come and read with us. The challenge today is to read a new book. Whether you try one of the stories mentioned in this video or something else, we hope you find a new story you love. We'd love to hear about what you read. You're welcome to share by commenting under this video on Facebook or tagging us at International Quilt Museum on Instagram. For more quilts inspired by stories, we invite you to check out our past exhibition, Glasnost and Folk Culture, in virtual form on the International Quilt Museum website. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and thank you for joining us for First Friday Fun.